So if you know me at all, you know that I love 3D printing. I've been doing it for several years now. Uh, it's just it's really amazing to be able to sculpt something digitally and then uh, get it made as a real physical object. So that's why I was so excited when the people from 3D Hubs contacted me and they said, hey, Ryan, we love your work. Uh, we want to see what happens if you get something made through 3D Hubs. So they were able to fund uh, a print of, of one of my pieces. So this is a piece from a few years ago, really. But uh, I got it ready for 3D printing. And uh, you can see it was something that I spent a lot of time on. So uh, I got it ready for 3D printing, and uh, I want to show you guys how that process went, how it goes with 3D Hubs, and uh, hopefully you might be able to see if uh, 3D Hubs is right for you and your project. So what I did is I got the model ready for 3D printing with ZBrush, and uh, that's a whole process in and of itself. If you want to learn more about that, uh, you can search on lynda.com. I have a lot of training courses on there on how to do that. that that gets a little bit technical but basically you just need to export your file and then you want to go to 3d hubs and let me just walk you through the process really quick it's very simple uh, I'm going to go and click on 3d print and here we can pick our file we can choose a material to print it in select where we want it to get printed now 3d hubs is different from other services like shapeways or sculpteo in that it's it's based on individual people and, and small businesses who have their own 3D printers. So it's not some big company that's doing the printing for you. It's just some guy with a printer. And uh, it can be somebody very local to you. So that way you could go pick it up from them in person, get to know your local 3D printing vendor, and get your product even faster because uh, you, know, you don't have to deal with shipping. So let's go and open up our file. Uh, one thing you want to know is the units that you saved it in. Uh, for this particular file, I saved it as inches. And one thing that you do want to note about color 3D printing on 3D hubs is that it's not quite set up for color printing yet. ZBrush, if you're exporting a file for color printing, you want to export in the VRML format, which has a .wrl extension. It makes perfect sense, I know. However, 3D hubs doesn't yet accept that file type. So for color 3D printing, what you want to do is also export, say, uh, STL or an OBJ file and upload that. And then after you have put in your order, you can contact the, the person who's making, who's doing the printing. You can contact them uh, outside of 3D Hubs uh, or through the 3D Hubs messaging system and say, hey, this is actually supposed to be a color print and you can send them the WRL file. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this OBJ file that I exported and click open. And what it's gonna do is just go ahead and upload this file. It's a relatively big file, so I'm gonna speed up the video here just to skip ahead. Okay, once the file is uploaded, make sure that your dimensions are correct, you set the correct quantity, and now let's drag down to choosing a material to print in. You've got a wide variety of materials to choose from. You probably already know what material you want before you even get to this stage because the way you prepare your file depends on the material. So we're going to go ahead and move over to the full color sandstone. Let's go ahead and click on that. And now let's scroll down to selecting a 3D printing hub. So what you can do is you can type in your location and then it's going to show you all these different uh, providers that are in my area. You can see right here, actually, we've got uh, Design Anything 3Ds. They're closest to me in Portland. And you can see they uploaded a photo of this uh, one that I already got made. So you can go ahead and compare them by price, by distance, by the materials they offer, by shipping options, everything you need to know to get the right print and the right time and the right price. So let's say you've picked one and go ahead and click select on it. So from here, we're going to go ahead and pick full color sandstone. Now there's a little bit of a trick up with this. Remember I told you that 3D hubs isn't quite set up for uploading WRL files, which is what you need for uh, printing in full color. So we uploaded a monochrome OBJ and then once we click on next, what we can do is write a comment to the person who is going to do the printing. So in here we could say something like, I have a WRL file with the full color. And then you could uh, tell them you want to pick it up or have it shipped, any of these options. Then you type in all of your financial information 
and then you click on send order request. Now I've already got mine printed, so let's see what that looks like. So there's the final result. I think this came out awesome. It looks great on my desk. Thanks so much to everybody at 3D Hubs for helping make this happen. If you want to see more of my work, head on over to ryankittleson.com. You can see a lot of the projects I've done for professional clients and my own personal designs as well. All right, well, thanks for watching this. See you next time, guys.